let's make you a rendering pro. How am I going to do that? Well, let me break it down for you. Twinmotion has been on the market for a while now, and many people are using it for the base purpose it was originally intended for, lackluster amateur renders. When used correctly from start to finish, you can compete with the best without having a dedicated rendering machine, a team of 50, or even a good design. Let's look at an example. These two images are from the same program. One is a basic export, the other is carefully crafted, designed to stimulate your senses and intrigue you. Most people either don't know where to start, are too lazy to start, or are simply not confident in their abilities. Let me teach you the skills right here, right now. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. That was one hell of an intro. I hope you enjoyed it. It took me more time to make that 30 second clip than it usually takes me to make a whole video. But I'm gonna be stepping up my videos, making them better and better every single week. So make sure you subscribe for great architectural content on this channel. Now, let's make you a rendering pro. First, open up your browser on any computer, Mac or PC. Make sure it has some decent specs. We can't be creating art on a potato. Type in unrealengine.com in your search bar. Find products and then scroll down to Twin Motion. Scroll to the very, very bottom and get your free trial. Hit the download launcher button and then open up the launcher when it's done. Again, you're gonna be looking for Twin Motion and hit that install button on the latest version. Caution. Preview is not the full version, it's just an upcoming sneak peek. Look for the full version if you want to explore in detail. I'll be using a reference file to showcase the basics. You can use whatever is available to you. If you want this project file or anything that I create here on YouTube, check out the Patreon link below. When you first boot up Twin Motion, you'll see something like this. Lackluster, right? Down the bottom, you'll see five icons. Import, context, settings, media, and export. Two triangles in each corner, left for everything you need, right for everything you've already made. A little creepy big brother eye with even more icons. And a full screen button next to it. That's the UI done. On the left, everything is self-explanatory. Click, drag, drop, done. Same method to apply or change materials. Once you change them, a new menu appears. Tweak this to make it perfect. After you've repeated this process most likely 10,000 times, added a couple trees, some cars, and maybe some people, it's time to be a photographer. Media, image, create image. Under the image title, you'll see more, format, 4K. Just changing this will increase the quality of your image tenfold. Finally, adjust both the lighting and camera settings to how you like it and hit export. Think you're done? Nope. Adobe non-sponsored plug. Seriously, break the bank and open Lightroom. Drop your export in, apply one of my presets, you're welcome, and export to Photoshop. Edit, sky replacement, pick a sky, save it, and you're done. Anyway, that is all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you like the fast-paced, upbeat, a little bit more intriguing, a little bit more enjoyable type of content than I usually produce. If you did, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, and if you really loved it, Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Every single week there is a new video on some form of architectural content or technology. If that's something that is interesting to you, I would truly appreciate it if you join this little community. But otherwise, like always, I'll see you next Monday.